So now that I got my test drive out of my system, which wasn't really necessary because, yeah, I could have broken both sets at the same time. But I need to get the lead out. And I got that. Got to drive the beast. Um, already started tearing into the front end. I'm going to go through a few things. Uh, the spindle nut wrench. Um, I made a few mods on my spring perches that I'll show you. Just little touches under here. And I'll show you how far I've gotten. Um, all right, here we go. All right. So we'll start on, let's go to the far side, better light. So I've gotten to this point. Um, I need that hub wrench in order to pull the uh, spindles. Um, the hubs weren't very difficult, not really that complicated. Um, whenever I take that kind of stuff apart, I just lay it out in an order that's logical. Way on the way back in, it's easy. Um, got the cover off, that's draining out. Got my drive line folded back away. And I pulled this side tie rod and just bungeed it up so I only had to pull one. Now I can get, it to, get to everything under there. Um, one of my perches, I was having problems because I didn't have enough uh, clips on the springs. And I had these leaf springs were, were twisting out and coming, you know, dangerously close to my tires. So I went back on the perches and installed a side plate between my bolts. I had just enough for a 3 16 piece of plate on each side and put a bolt on the bottom to pull them together just so it's easier to get them on and off. They're flared at the bottom a little. They, uh, they're angled out if you look at them this way from top to bottom so you can slide it over easily and then after you get them on you can just pinch them in. Um, there's no way these springs are going to swing out now. That and without the uh, rest of the clips on here I could really I could take off this first clip too but I'm not sure how much flex that would even give me. I've already greased the springs and these are the stock two inch wide so they're kind of narrow. They're the stock two inch spring for this 66 model. Um, after the install on the axle, that's where I ended up with my shock mount. And it's not too bad. Um, the angle's off a little bit. If you look at it this way, you can see it points down a little bit. That's because I didn't have my caster correct, and I ended up uh, shimming. I ended up shimming. You might be able to just see it under there, shim, to get my caster to the right angle so I wasn't. You know, so the whole front end didn't swing left and right when you turn the wheel. Um, it's pretty highway friendly now. I don't think there's much else under here. Oh yeah, the steering stabilizer. I ended up putting that on. And it's just, was perfectly enough room between the pumpkin to allow for enough travel on the steering spacer or I'm sorry on the steering stabilizer from stop to stop and it's also tucked behind that front crossbar so it's not down in a strike area and I think that's about it for now um, once I get a little bit further along and get that stuff pulled out I'll have some more. Till then, spark lighter out. <laughs>